Remind yourself constantly, even if you have to do this a hundred fucking times a day, remember that the world isn't necessarily built for you. It's not like made for you. And actually I would argue and say that there is negative forces that are working against you 24 fucking seven, just like there's positive forces. There's this yin and yang of energy always going on. It doesn't matter what the fuck you believe. It doesn't matter what you feel like. There is things going on that you can't see. Okay. And the things that are going on inside of you are the, are the things that you really got to pay attention to. That's what's actually fucking important, you know? So when you're going throughout life and you're wanting throughout life, and I've learned this the hard way, you know, and you've probably heard this phrase before, you know, don't pray for an easy life. You know, you don't ask God for an easy life. You, you pray for a fucking, you know, the strength to go throughout your life. Well, as cliche as that sounds, and I'm not, it's not, this isn't about God. This isn't about spirituality really at all. Um, it's more about just understanding that if you can, if you can remember, especially in the, the fucking second your fucking feet hit the ground, if you can remember that there is negative forces working against you 24 seven to essentially throw you off, right? Like we as humans, um, we are like divided. We can go down two roads. We're always being divided. We're always being like divided in half, like with our decision-making skills, you know, and we can go down the, the road less traveled, or we can go down the road that everyone goes down, you know, which is really, it's funny because if you go down the road that everyone goes down, you can pretty much fucking, you pretty much know the result you're going to get. Okay, dude, life is not, I never prayed. I used to pray for an easy life. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I used to wish my life was easy. And I used to actually think my life was easy until I was faced with like the first little bit of adversity, which was like my first breakup when I was like 14. Then my parents divorced when I was 17 and then losing my childhood home, um, you know, going through just all this fucking bullshit. I realized that during this time, I felt like a fucking victim to all the things that were happening in my life. And no one was really telling me necessarily that, you know, or really I wasn't listening because I knew I could make better decisions, but I wasn't allowing myself to fucking do that. And I didn't understand that there was forces in the universe trying to constantly pull you down and build you up. And it's all just about connecting with that. It is, it, it's, if you feel, I, I talked about this on my group call yesterday. If you feel anxiety, if you feel depression, if you feel like shit, understand that as a human, you're being given signals all fucking day long, all fucking day long on how, on what's the next step or how you should act in this movement, how you should maneuver here. What should I do here? You're being signaled all day long. Now, it's not like a fucking blimp is going to fly across the fucking sky and lay it all out for you. But if you can understand to listen to that inner voice, to listen to those signals when they come, you're going to have a better life experience. You're not going to see life as always happening to you. You're going to see it as happening for you. you. Some of you guys really need to fucking hear this because you're not even in the fucking beginning of seeing past your own fucking bullshit. You can't even see past your own fucking head. You can't see two fucking inches past your own eyes. So when I say something like this, you'll be like, yeah, fuck, whatever, dude. Nah, 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 you don't know my story. Oh, but you didn't go through what I went through. Bro, no one gives a fuck about that. I hate to break it to you. And a lot of you guys that are 25 and up, like myself, 27, 30, 40 up, you're probably realizing now, no one really gives a fuck anymore, okay? They had their hand out, they tried to help you. You're a fucking man now. And that's, that's the hard reality, but also the liberating truth, okay? And I'm talking to the men right now, okay? You're meant for something greater. You're meant for a purpose. Every time you get knocked down, don't fucking beat yourself while you're down. Just understand that there's forces constantly working against you and for you. Connect with the source that's working for you. When you feel like everything is clicking, do you, do you know why the fuck that is? Do you know why sometimes you feel like you're in a flow state? It's because you're connecting to your higher purpose. You're actually connecting to what the fuck you were meant to do on this earth. Now, a lot of people, they need clear cut answers. They need to, they need to, they need to know, okay, Mr. Gabe, this is what you're going to do every day. Step one through is fucking 10. Now, honestly, this is the truth. And, and I, I had this conversation with a business associate the other day and he told me, he said, 95 fucking percent of people, they need to be told what to do. They actually need to be, everything needs to be laid out for them, for them to make, you know, big, to make shit happen and make big moves. The other 5% of people, they operate 
on the ledge. They operate from uncertainty. That's the only fucking place where good shit happens, where the growth occurs, where you're, you're where you go, go from not being, go from being a fucking little bitch to being a fucking beast. It's when you live life on the edge, motherfucker. You're, you're sitting there acting like, well, why don't I have the fucking life I want yet? How come Gabe has this? And how come this person on the internet has this? Holy shit, dude. What the fuck makes you feel like you fucking deserve anything? What makes you feel like you're fucking owed anything because someone else fucking has it? It's bullshit. It's bullshit. And the reason I'm saying this is because a lot of guys, they operate from that mentality and it fucks their whole life up. It fucks their whole life up. They see a guy doing better than them. They don't go and ask that person advice. They don't go see what lesson can I learn from that person? They go, well, I got fucked. He's lucky. I got fucked. It's bullshit. There is people that had it 10 times fucking harder than you going 10 times harder than you right now. I always use the trailer park kid analogy. Well, your fucking pussy ass is bitching about your training and your workouts and your fucking job and all this bullshit. There's a fucking kid in a trailer park. We'll call him Timmy. And Timmy doesn't give a fuck about what the fuck you, you're complaining about. He wakes up on his, on his fucking floor. He lives in a shitty fucking trailer. He's broke as fuck. But you know what? He has a fucking dream. He gets his fucking meals in. He gets his workouts in. He meditates. He prays. He connects. He fucking cares about his mom. He cares about his family. That dude will fucking destroy you. That dude will fucking destroy you. So while you're sitting here saying, oh, fuck, I wish I had it easier. I wish I had, I wish I had it all laid out. Well, why don't I have it as good as him? What about the people that have it 10 times fucking worse than you and they're doing 10 times better, bitch? What the fuck are you going to do about that? There's no excuse. Level the fuck up. No victim.